a barrel full of heroism, two ounces of skill, three quarter ounce of determination, a quarter ounce of passion served on the rocks. For over 240 years, Jameson is the world's third largest single distillery whiskey. This is a story of a little drop from Ireland that has almost taken over the planet with its finest taste and smoothness and to unfold the same I'm here at Jameson Dublin Distillery in today's video we'll take a tour of the Jameson factory and learn about its history the process of making the Jameson whiskey and do some tastings we'll also open a barrel of Jameson whiskey that's 18 years old and taste it at the end of the video, so stick around. The story of this grain to glass goes back to 1780, when John Jameson carried the heaviest motto, Sena Metu, which means without fear, to Dublin and opened a distillery in Smithfield to produce the highest quality of Irish whiskey. Wait a second. Do you know what this 1970 label denotes? The Barrel Man. If you look closely at the bottle, you'll see Barrel Man icon embossed on the glass. They represent the hard workers, past and present, who built Jameson whiskey from the ground up. Walking inside our story chamber, we saw a magnificent transition where Jameson's inside story was foretold. We learned that John Jameson was not Irish, he was Scottish. John Jameson established a good name for himself and the whiskey he made rose above the rest by embodying the spirit to live a bit more and fear a bit less. He had 16 children, 8 boys and 8 girls. Four of his sons followed him into distilling in Ireland, setting up a family dynasty that was to last for generations. John Jameson died on the 3rd December 1823 at the old age of 83. Now take a look at the number of times three appears. It's no wonder they still distill three times to this very day. This number is quite special to them. It's hard to believe, but Jameson did not bottle their own whiskey until 1963. Now, I get you to come down here, sir, if you wouldn't mind. My pleasure. Yeah. Uh, uh. So that's one, two. On the mouth here. Now next, we look at the body of the whiskey. What I want you to do, folks, I want to turn the glass on its side, roll around your fingers for a few seconds, hold it level straight up the light, and can you see that's doing as we see flowing down? As you said, these are known the legs and tears. A good story cannot be devised. It has to be distilled, and the untold richness and complexity awaits in every drop of Jameson. The Irish whiskey is blended for the originals, barrel lovers, beer lovers, flavor lovers, and of course, for the legends. We rolled the glass given to us in different flavors. Head to our nose first for a few seconds before we tasted the divine. We even smelled and differentiated between the Jameson and the Scotch whiskey. To my surprise, it was unbelievably different. Moving on, we even differentiated between the American and the Irish whiskey and with every ounce we could see why Irish blend is still the finest. We'll be smelling the fragrance of the whiskey. Jameson, I found, has a distinct aroma with notes of wood, honey, vanilla and toasted oak. The aroma also had hints of fruits such as green apples and pears, as well as spices like nutmeg and cinnamon. 
The fragments can also be influenced by specific oak barrels used for aging as well as the length of time it has been aged. John Jameson established a way of making Irish whiskey and they've been proudly sticking to it ever since. And it was just to say, you know, a little bit of, of the whiskey making process is going on. We obviously can't do it on scale here. Good thing comes in threes. Forget lucky number seven. Jameson's smoothness comes from signature triple distillation process. Locally grown, Jameson Irish whiskey is made by blending rich pot still whiskey made from both malted and unmalted barley, both distilled three times for smoothness. And while barley is all grown locally in Ireland, the water comes from the Dongorni River. Walking towards the barrel storage section, we needed to turn off the flash as it could trigger the fire alarm. Distillation and maturation is what follows. The wash from the fermentation processes pass through the copper pots still before they are headed for maturation in bourbon barrels and sherry casks. These oak barrels pass on the notes of toasted wood and vanilla giving Jameson much of its signature character. The liquid is then given its green glass confidence from where it's sent out to the world. Next, we'll be opening an old barrel of Jameson whiskey. Two seconds from now, we give you all the glass, two for you guys. Opening a barrel of Jameson whiskey involves a process called barrel tapping. This process involves removing a small amount of whiskey from the barrel without affecting the integrity of the barrel or the whiskey inside. This process allows for a small amount of whiskey to be removed from the barrel without disrupting the aging process or affecting the overall quality of the whiskey. This one, is, this one is very, very popular, to be fair. So, do you want to hammer it in this time, or do you want to hammer it in this time? I'll do it. Okay, I feel like everyone gotta go to do something, I think, did they? <laughs> 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 I know, yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'll chip the other two. <laughs> In conclusion, the tour of Jameson Factory and tasting of the 18-year-old barrel of whiskey offers a unique and memorable experience for whiskey enthusiasts. If you like my video, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every time we post. Until next time, goodbye.